how can a plant be the leader of men? That's what it's been said to me on YouTube. They said, how can a plant be the leader? And they profess to being a healer themselves. So surely they can understand how a plant could lead men and women. For a start, is a mushroom a plant? I think it was a euephagen. Mushrooms are euephagens, aren't they? And that's from um, it's a it's a form of matter of its very own, created from mycelium. Mycelium. So basically, you partake of the mushroom, and it gives you. A uh, different perception changes your perception so that you can see things that you don't normally see. It leads you in a direction that you don't normally go in. It is leading the way. It's not another man saying, Ah, oh, follow me, and then he's going to run off the nearest cliff and you're going to follow him. It's a mushroom. It's a sacred, sort of, the earliest matter known to man. The first thing that came on this planet. It's not a man, thank God. Thank God the penis that the mushroom is not a man. But who knows? We, because, we could have come from mushrooms. We could have formed in, like, bacteria. Like the rest of the bacteria that does form in the little cells and pockets of the mycelium. We could have come from there. There were no plants on this land before the mushroom. The mycelium, which is the network underground, which is like a thin network that is very strong, that created the, the plants, and the plants created the atmosphere that we could live in. And if it weren't for the plants, we wouldn't be here. And if it weren't for the mycelium, the plants wouldn't be here. So it's not a man. We're not thanking a man, right? We're thanking nature itself. Now, the early Sumerians, they knew that nature itself was responsible for creating itself and that we came from that. They understood that because they would partake in the mushroom and learn. And the Indians, um, you know, like the Plains, not, I don't know if it's the Plains Indians or what Indians, but the indigenous peoples of America, they lived for many, many thousands of years longer with the mushroom in their culture and they learn a whole lot more about the mushroom and the Christian religion actually came from a culture like the Sumerian culture that knew and understood the benefits of the magic mushroom and that we wouldn't be here if it weren't for those magic mushrooms, the mycelium and everything. So it's only this guy's ego who he believes he is a healer. Well, good on him, heal. But you haven't got to like um, say, oh, no way the mushroom, you know, man is the leader, I'm a great person, I qualify for the job. That, because the job ain't there. The father of creation exists and the sun was seen as the very tip of God's penis the sexual urges of mankind and that translates into the Bible and the female um, 
sexual desires and the female goddess sexual element, the mother goddess that brings forth children. She was buried and hidden and we live to, in a today's society which is basically a masculine male society with all the, the female elements, the female sexuality and everything is hidden and very little is understood about it. We all come from the goddess and to her we shall return like a drop of rain flow into the ocean Huff and horn, huff and horn all that dies shall be reborn It's a nice chant and it will come from the goddess So forget ya, Jesus was a man because Jesus weren't no man. Jesus was a mushroom. You can't believe in a man, but you can believe in a mushroom because it can change your perception. And it's been proven for years to actually be sending human beings in the right direction. showing them stuff about themselves. Yeah, maybe freaking them out now and again. Other times giving them a, a good time. But it's like the mushroom cult is worldwide and it doesn't need to be clarified in paper or in writing. It's worldwide, it's universal. It's in everybody's brain. We are children of the psilocybin and we know and we grow. We all come from the goddess and to her we shall return like a drop of rain flow into the ocean